Sure. This is Mike at Highland Hill Farm. He's going to talk to you today about a trimming with a tree pole of a Norway spruce. Okay. Well, here's our tree pole. We get these at Agway. And it's just a string on it that comes down and uh, cuts it. And that's the blade right there. Every now and then we have to clean this out just for sanitary purposes. But uh, for right now, let's just talk about this tree we're going to prune right here. I we take a look at the tree right here, you can see there's one tree right here, it's a little bit close, but we have to get through here and knock that guy out so this one through here fills out fairly well. And what we're going to try to do with this pole printer is the first thing we're going to do is we want to make sure there's one leader on it. And take a look, close look, there's an a, a old dead leader in there. So we're going to go in there and use our handy dandy pole printer. We're just going to pull that out. Kind of like that. That's out of there. That way it's a little bit easier for me to see what's happening. The next thing we gotta do is we gotta subordinate this so there's only one leader growing up from the tree. And what that does is later in life it makes the tree more secure so that it doesn't break apart. So we're gonna, I'm gonna pick this guy as the main leader. And therefore we're gonna go in the other ones that are lower to it and knock them down pretty hard. Now I have to go knock down virtually all of them in this area to make sure that there's no other competing leaders for next year. So we're going to go down and get all the major ones. With full green, we usually do the major ones. If you usually do all the small ones, you'd be here forever, especially with this type. Uh, now, another thing that we have to do with this one, since you can see the buds are already formed on it, when we cut, we can't just cut wherever we want on the candles. These are all called candles, by the way. That's what this is called. And the buds are only formed on this year's growth of the candle. So if you go and you cut this like right about there, right where the bud scale scar is for next year, and you cut that and there's no buds on there, you won't have any growth for next year. So when you cut, don't cut all of it, just cut the major buds on it so that it uh, releases and everything that uh, what you're doing, and the whole purpose of pruning. So as you come in here, and we'll go all the way around, make sure we get all the major ones so that there's no co-dominant leaves or more work for us next year to do when we come back out. So you can see now there's one liter going up and it hasn't been pruned yet. Now if we leave it go just as this, this is going to shoot up and it's going to be another three, four foot above it and it's going to be what we call gooseneck. Well, it's actually, that's actually what we call for pines, but it would be really close to this for spruces. So what we want to do is we want to make sure it has a nice form to it. So for this one, I would say I'll go down to the next whirl of uh, buds on it. You can see there's a mixed whirl buds. So we're just going to cut it right there. And what that does is it really, that cutting off the main bud will release all the little buds on the sides and we'll have more flush growth from the bottom and you'll see more of it fill in. And uh, when we come through, we come through a little later with a chainsaw, we'll probably knock that guy out just because he's a little bit close. But I can show you what we do too with this. This one's really easy to do, it's not a lot of work. That first one right there is the one I want to choose. The other ones we go through, we just knock off real quick. And this one I'm hitting a little bit harder because I don't like the shape of it and I want to knock it down a little bit so that it fills out more. The more you cut off of it, the more buds you take off it means more energy or the more water and minerals that the roots up take away the lower buds on it. So when we knock it down hard, it releases the lower buds to grow more. The roots are forced to put energy into the lower shoots and that's pretty much what we do when we pull prune with pull pruner just to subordinate and then to knock down the lower candles so that we have a nicer pull retreat. All right, well, thank you very much, Mike. You're here at Highland Hill Farm. And if you need Norway spruce trees, give us a call at 215-651-8329. Thank you.